From crime to crime, a West Baltimore man says trash has been piling up behind his home for years. And despite his complaints, he says the city hasn't done anything to help. Maxine Stryker pressed DPW for answers. If they don't do something about it, it's going to get worse and worse. It's not going to get better. For decades, one man who didn't want to be identified has lived here along Layman Street. 86 years. From the front, it looks like your typical West Baltimore home. It wasn't like this. Walk over here with me a minute, honey. I want to show you something. But head to the back and you'll find it's a different story. I'm ashamed to invite anybody here, including you people coming here to take pictures of it. It's ridiculous. Piled up behind this 86-year-old man's home. I'm as old as the trash. That's how long I've been here. 86-year-old glider, and he got fucking sons dumping their trash behind his house. Another, listen, man. <laughs> Sons is hell on glider. I'm mean, on 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 the elderly man. Eighty six year old man got sons dumping trash behind his house, man. But head to the back, and you'll find it's a different story. I'm ashamed to invite anybody here, including you people coming here to take pictures of it. It's ridiculous. Piled up behind this 86-year-old man's home. I'm as old as the trash. That's how long I've been here. Well, you see a mattress, you see a sofa, you see, her. Oh, Lord, what is it over here? I don't even know. Mountains of trash. Climbing chair, there's a mop. There's a baby set, two of them baby things that you put babies in and a car. <laughs> Two of them baby things that you put babies in in the car. <laughs> Mom, there's a baby set. Two of them baby things that you put babies in in a car. There's another sofa. And he says that trash attracts plenty of wildlife. From rats cats come up there. to cats. Oh, yeah, there's one sitting up there now. The problem, he says, is nothing new. They come in at night and pull back in there and dump the stuff out and just... So it anywhere. In fact, he has paperwork that proves the city has known about it since he started calling to complain six years ago. Since 2017, here's the paperwork. In 2017, a housing code enforcement official issued several violations for the property behind his. It's noted the owner had been deceased since 1994. Then again, in 2021, another violation order at the same address cites several derelict vehicles. Year after year, call the city. They come out a, a while ago and took a little trash from beside that car right there, but they never. Why is this old glider living in Baltimore, man? <laughs> you need to move out to fucking Wyoming or Idaho or something, man. Yeah, you in Baltimore for it, man? Touch none of this. He says over the years, nothing significant has been done to clean up the view from his back porch. What the city does. They put a Band-Aid on something. Band-Aid ain't gonna help a broken arm. And now he's losing hope in the city ever cleaning up the trash. Clean the damn mess up, that's all. Nothing else, just clean, just get it the hell out of here. Maxine Stryker, Fox 45 News. They could get some of them fucking monkey ass teens. Some of them teens, man. They can get some of them teens, man, to come back there, man. Get some of them teens, man. That's carjacking people, man. See, this is why I say, man, listen, if I was king of America, man, yo, this would be done in a day. This right here, all this would be moved out in a day, and it wouldn't cost the taxpayers anything. The te the, I would take the teens that had the fresh teens too. I'm not talking about some teens that 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 did something a long time ago. I'm talking about the teens who carjack all the carjackings over the weekend. It's Monday, so all the teens arrested for carjackings over the weekend. They would they I would give them some shovels and some gloves. And some goggles. No hard hat. Just a go, 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 gloves and goggles. And there will be a truck. 
fill the truck up. We'll go dump it. You wait right here. We'll be back. Fill it up again. We'll go dump it. We'll be back. Fill it up again. We'll go dump it. And then we'll be back to pick you up and take you back to jail. Simple. This right here, you could get this done in a day with four teens, man. Four teens could, could, could do this in a day, man. I've been here. Oh, well, you see a mask, Rich? Baltimore over recycling. The mayor said, what the city does, they put a Band-Aid on something. Band-Aid ain't going to help a broken arm. And now he's losing hope in the city ever cleaning up the trash. Clean the damn mess up. That's all. Nothing else. Just clean, just get it the hell out of here. Maxine Stryker, Fox 45 News. Right now, a group of city residents is suing Baltimore over recycling. The mayor says the city will return to weekly recycling pickup next year, but residents argue the city is violating its own charter. This month, Mayor Brandon Scott launched a 90-day campaign called Baltimore Blitz. Crews will be cleaning 900 graffiti tags and filling 9,000 potholes. Now, back in February, the mayor also launched a Clean Core initiative. Six nonprofits will be given nearly $15 million to hire Baltimore residents to clean up 16 low-income neighborhoods. Some council members have already pushed back on that. Why is he giving the money to nonprofits, man? He's giving these nonprofits $15 million to hire Baltimore residents to clean up these neighborhoods. Of that $15 million, maybe you're lucky if a million goes towards cleaning up these neighborhoods. They're going to... The bureau, the bureau, bureaucratic process, the skimming off the top, the administration fees, all the new fucking positions that's going to be created when you give them fifteen million dollars. Just get some fucking sun teens, hoodlums, gangbangers that out here shooting up the town, carjacking everybody. Get their asses. Give them some gloves and some goggles and just fucking have them fucking get a truck and just sit the truck right there in front of every pile of shit until it's gone and then move to the truck to the next stop, a pile of shit until that's gone and rinse and repeat, man. Man, a group of four teens, man. I'd, I'd have four t a group of four teens on every alley. And I'd be like, yo, this alley got to be clean by the end of the day. Or you don't eat. I'd give them a nice big breakfast. Denny's. And a bag lunch. But dinner, dinner is optional, man. <laughs> dinner is on you, man. <laughs> launched a 90-day campaign called Baltimore Blitz. Crews will be cleaning 900 graffiti tags and filling 9,000 potholes. Now, back in February, the mayor also launched a Clean Core initiative. Six nonprofits will be given nearly $15 million to hire Baltimore residents to clean up 16 low-income neighborhoods. Some council members have already pushed back on that. Why in the world would you know the administration get 15 million dollars towards privatization of community groups uh, to perform these functions and to hire people when that's exactly what we're trying to do further uh, show right because he's friends with those all those nonprofits. those are his friends just like the safe streets where they couldn't where they had 10 offices but only two they could only find people at two of the off or two of the 10 offices and all the money's missing, the safe streets that's under investigation in Baltimore right now, those are his friends. The mayor, Mayor Afro, is friends with these motherfucking um, nonprofit community groups. So he's giving them money. He, What the fuck? Just keep, <laughs> even if you're not going to do what I do, right? Even if you're not going to get the Sun Teens to do it. Just get the fucking city workers to do it. Don't you have a fucking Department of Public Works? Get your Department of Public Works to do it. 
Why are you giving some goddamn Sun Man X Con violence interrupter fucking $15 million to fucking clean up the fucking city? You know, the administration get $15 million towards privatization of community groups uh, to perform these functions and to hire people when that's exactly what we're trying to do. Further uh, shows um, how out of touch some decision makers are when it comes to the needs and infrastructure needs in the city. Well, that brings us to our question of the day. Would you vote for Mayor Brandon Scott for a second term? Yes or no? So far, 97% of those who voted say no. 3% say yes. You can head to Fox. That means he's getting a second term. <laughs> Baltimore.com slash vote to weigh in. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.